The nominations for the 64th Grammy Awards are officially in. Musicians John Batiste, Justin Bieber, and Olivia Rodrigo all snatched up nominations. This year, all 11,000 members of the Recording Academy were able to cast their votes for up to 10 categories across three genres. This voting system replaced an anonymous nominations review committee used in previous years. Critics had long accused committee members of playing favorites. Entertainment Tonight co-host Kevin Frazier joins me now for a recap. Hi, Kevin. Great to have you with us. Hi, uh, before we get to the nominations, yeah. first tell us a little bit about what prompted these changes to the voting process and what kind of change Grammy officials are hoping they bring. Well, what they want to see is more diversity in the choices. And I think that some of the eclectic wins that happen over the years really um, rubbed artists the wrong way, including the weekend last year when he got when he didn't even get nominated. And he was very frustrated and upset. And um, Harvey Mason uh, Jr., the CEO of the Recording Academy, took all this to heart since last April. April. He has been trying to revamp the voting system and he has done a fantastic job. And I got to say that you will see that now in not only the wins, but also who is nominated. And that's the important thing is that the records and the albums and the music that we were listening to will finally be recognized. Okay, so under this new system, who is leading the pack with the most nominations this year? Well, John Batiste comes out of the pack and he um, has 11 nominations. And let me say this, each of the categories this year, the, the big four categories were expanded from eight to 10 nominees. So you add in some extra artists and John Batiste seems to be the beneficiary of the new voting system and the way they've expanded these categories. He is nominated for his work on his album. He is nominated for Freedom um, for a song and record of the year. And he is also nominated for his work on the film Soul. So it was a big year for Batiste. And um, also it'll be interesting to see some of the other people that you mentioned, like Doja Cat, how she does, because she got eight nominations along with Justin, Justin Bieber, who um, now has 22 nominations, but just two wins. And you expect that his album Justice and his little Bop Peaches will bring home some gold. Ooh, and so who were some of the biggest or what were some of the biggest surprises and what were some of the snubs because we know it's not always a happy day for everybody it's not always a happy day for everybody and you know you look at country music and maybe country music lost out a little bit um, with the snubs there and also some people will say BTS maybe the the voting hasn't gone global yet because they weren't in the big four categories and you thought that you know a band like BTS who continues to sell out stadiums and their song um, you you have on um, butter right now which did get nominated but some of their other songs and their their work should have got nominated in the big four categories and it did not. So that was interesting. I'd say those two really jump out to me because BTS's worldwide acclaim and fame is everywhere and we just saw them um, on the Billboard Music Awards. All right, we're going to put you on the spot a little bit here, Kevin. Sure. Song of the Year and Album of the Year, two of the biggest wow. and most watched categories at the awards show. Who do you think will walk away with Grammys on January 31st? The most interesting vote of this entire thing is album of the year because Taylor Swift is now tied Barbara Streisand as the female with the most album of the year nominations but she is now in the same category as drumroll Kanye West and his Ooh. album Donda what would it mean for Ooh. Kanye to beat Taylor <laughs> I don't think he can and I think Taylor will win but wow. um, it would be so interesting if Kanye could win because he has been one of the the main proponents about voting changes in the past and he's felt that you know it things should change. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, if you ask me, Justin Bieber should win for Song of the Year with Peaches. Interesting. It's yeah. so interesting. It's so exciting. So what more can you tell us about what to expect at the actual ceremony in January? Uh, I think that it is music's biggest night for a reason because of the eclectic mix of artists that get to perform together. You will see people that you never expected to see side by side, whether it's rap, whether it's country, whether it's folk, um, whether it's rock and roll. And I think that's the beauty of the Grammy. So we don't know who's performing yet, and that's the big announcements. Waiting to see who will get announced and also who will show up because a lot of artists have been frustrated in the past by the voting or not winning. And so it'll be interesting to see if some of the rap artists, the bigger rap artists like Kanye, will show up to um, actually not only perform, but even just sit in the audience. Super fun night. We will all be, be watching. Kevin Frazier, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Always a pleasure.